Now to the Donald Trump transition to his presidency. And today, the president elect naming two women to his cabinet as Mr. Trump spends the Thanksgiving holiday here in South Florida. CBS 4's Aralia Ortega joins us live from Palm Beach. Aralia. Hi, good morning, guys. It's your Thanksgiving pass. Rick, you can see the lights on in Mar a Lago right behind me, but what you may not be able to see are all of the Secret Service personnel and the sheriff's deputies who are here guarding the perimeter. The president elect is spending the holiday uh, here, and today he delivered a special Thanksgiving message to the American people. It's my prayer that on this Thanksgiving, we begin to heal our divisions and move forward as one country, strengthened by shared purpose and very, very common resolve. President-elect Donald Trump releases a Thanksgiving message via his transition team. In the one-minute, 45-second video, Mr. Trump asks the American people to put aside their differences and join together in the resolve to make America great again. I'm asking you to join me in this effort. It's time to restore the bonds of trust between citizens. Because when America is unified, there is nothing beyond our reach, and I mean absolutely nothing. In Palm Beach, security patrolled the billionaire's Mar-a-Lago estate, where he's spending the Thanksgiving holiday with family and working to staff his administration. Earlier in the day, he announced two key picks, both of them women. Betsy DeVos has accepted Mr. Trump's offer to be the next U.S. Secretary of Education. In a statement, he described DeVos as a brilliant and passionate education advocate. The 58-year-old from Michigan is a longtime Republican donor who is a charter school advocate. The president-elect also selected another woman for his cabinet, South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley for U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. Haley was one of the Republican Party's loudest critics of its eventual nominee. During anxious times, it can be tempting to follow the siren call of the angriest voices. We must resist that temptation. But Haley is now calling the president-elect a friend. We are currently living through what may be the most interesting time in American political history. Another foe-turned friend, Dr. Ben Carson, is under consideration for Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. Certainly is, is something that has been a long-term interest of mine. Carson posted a tweet saying, quote, an announcement is forthcoming about his role in helping to make America great again. Mr. Trump and Vice President-elect Mike Pence have held more than 60 meetings with potential White House staffers and cabinet members since winning the election. Live in Palm Beach, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News tonight.